As an example here, I'll try to find the asymptotes of the function fx equals square root of 4x squared plus 3 divided by 2x minus 1. First consider the vertical asymptotes. Well, clearly there can be only a vertical asymptote for x equals a half. Well, for x equals a half, the numerator will not vanish, but the denominator will vanish. So this will provide enough arguments to state that f has a vertical asymptote at x equal a half. Since if we close in on a half from the right, right hand side, then we'll see that the values of x move in direction of infinity, become infinite, infinitely large, and if we are approaching a half from the left-hand side, we see that the values fx go to minus infinity. So now let's focus on horizontal asymptotes, in case of which we need to find limits, the limits for x to minus infinity of x, if this limit exists, then we will have a horizontal asymptote. So the limit of x to minus infinity equals, well, what we're going to do is numerate and denominator would divide, uh, div divide it by x. Well, x is supposed to be arbitrarily small, so at least non-zero, so we may divide by x. By doing so, we can write the expression a little bit different, so we find the limit of x to minus infinity of the square root of 4x squared plus 3 divided by minus the square root of x squared. Yeah, since, watch out, here we get a minus sign because x is supposed to be negative, and divided by 2 minus 1 over x squared. So now we can write the x squared under the square root sign yeah. and find this minus the square root of 4x squared plus 3 divided by x squared divided by 2 minus 1 over x. Yeah, so this equals the limit of x2 minus infinity. Now we may divide the x squared and we find the minus square root of 4 plus 3 divided by x squared divided by 2 minus, minus 1 over x. And now we see that 3 over x squared will have 0 as a limit, and 1 over x, of course, goes to 0. So we find as a limit the square root minus the square root of 4 divided by 2 is minus 1. So we have a horizontal asymptote at the value y equals minus 1 for x going to minus infinity. Well, something similar can be done if we take a limit for x to infinity of fx, then it, our life is even easier since we do not have to deal with the minus sign, but we can apply the same technique by dividing numerator and denominator by x. Yeah, so we don't need to adjust for the minus sign, but now we find but leaving out the minus sign that we had above, we get the limit in the same way. We get the limit of x to infinity of square root of 4 plus 3 divided by x squared, which goes to the square root of 4, divided by 2 minus 1 over x, which goes to 2, so we get as a limit 1. So we have a horizontal asymptote y equals 1 for x going to infinity. Well, since we can have only two horizontal asymptotes, we are done now.